What's up? It's your girl Kanari from Big Bay Royal TV, and you're tuning in to Thanksgiving episode 13. What's up, guys? So, in today's episode, we're going to be making some homemade sweet potato pie from scratch. Good old grandma sweet potato pie that y'all love on Thanksgiving. So, let's do it. So, the ingredients for today's video, for today's dessert, sweet potato pie. Of course, we need some sweet potatoes. So right here we have five sweet potatoes, or two pounds of sweet potatoes, right here. And then we have two eggs and one egg yolk. Okay, so we have this special egg trick that I learned from my grandmother. And she told me this last night, and she showed me it on FaceTime. So let's see if it works, and we need this. So let's go. I'm gonna crack the egg. Step two, water bottle. Let's see. Put it on there. Got it. Oh, oh my God, look at that, y'all. Got it. Ooh. Half a cup of heavy cream. Three fourth cup of brown sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla abstract. Then we're going to be doing one fourth teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of ground ginger, and one fourth teaspoon of ground nutmeg. And of course, we can't make a pie without a pie crust, so we have our pie crust right here. So we have our sweet potatoes right here, and the first thing we want to do is cut off these little nubs, cut off the butt of these sweet potatoes. So, we're just cutting off the butt like that. Because we don't want that in our pie. Because that's usually like the more brown part. And yeah, we don't want brown. We want a nice orange color for our sweet potato pie because the brown spots will change the color of the pie, obviously. So we're cutting off all the butts, even if the butts aren't that big. We're gonna go ahead and cut them off. And I already like made the sweet potatoes. I baked the sweet potatoes already ahead of time. Just so we can save a little bit of time during this episode. So I just, it's two pounds of sweet potatoes, like I said before. And then I just put them in the oven for about 40 minutes and then they were nice and soft and then I let them cool and now we're here. So the ends are cut off all of our nice sweet potatoes and now we're just gonna slice the middle like so. Just so we could peel the skin off that is not very straight can I but yeah you get the picture. So doing this makes it easier to peel the skin off instead of getting all of that sweet potato in your fingers struggling breaking the sweet potatoes and all of that so yeah even though they're going to get broken this is just making it an easier process for us so i'm so excited to be making this recipe because my godmom actually like makes a sweet potato pies like almost every year for Thanksgiving and she like when she whips it up she whips it up with these sweet potato pies so yeah so it's time for me to learn how to make this you know and I actually didn't ask her for a recipe but let's make this a challenge you got it let's see who sweet potato pie tastes better like no offense I'm just saying I'm a baker now, so like, you know, I probably got something on No offense, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Okay, but for real, we have a few more sweet potatoes. And these, like these brown spots we have on them, we're getting rid of them. Not all of them because not really necessary but most of them because like I said before we want a nice orange pie so yep 
I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was kind of nervous about this because it's like I've never made a pie before. So curious to see, but I hope it turns out nice. And I think it will. So I actually got my recipe from YouTube. I watched a video from Make It. This man make it and it actually looks really nice and good and his ingredients sound about right so yeah that's what recipe we're using and as always if you guys didn't know all the ingredients to all of my desserts are always in my description even though they're not like my personal recipe I just leave it there for you guys to take you want to try it, this is your first time seeing it on my YouTube channel. And you want to try it as well. Ingredients always in the description. So, all sweet potato skins off. Like I said, we're going to be taking these brown spots off. But I don't really have no brown spots, to be honest with you guys. Like, the orange color of sweet potatoes is not this bright orange. It's like a nice little orange, so... Yeah, so we're just gonna slice these potatoes up, just like literally into slices, and we're gonna throw them in our mixer. And um, today we're actually using the dough hooks because we um substituting our mixer for a food processor. Yeah, that's what it's called, a food processor. And I don't have one of those, obviously. So. Yeah. So these sweet potatoes are soft, so they're basically cutting itself, but we're just gonna chop it up a little bit. Just to make it easier. And the dough hooks are clearly for dough, it has it in a name. But I felt like this would make it easier for our potato to blend. So we're gonna try it out and we shall see. It's giving booty vibes, you gotta go. Okay. We have our, all of our potatoes nice and chopped. We're gonna throw this to the side, make sure our blender is locked. And then we're gonna go ahead and mash these potatoes up. And then we'll add our extra ingredients. So what I want to do is try one dough hook with one of the regular paddles. Okay, so we have our dough hook and our paddle. Let's try it out right now and see how this goes. Come through then paddle. I think that's what it's called. But yeah. Yep, that definitely made the process a lot faster. So, now that we have our sweet potatoes all mashed up and all that good stuff, we're going to go ahead and add our brown sugar. So, we're going to go ahead and add our 3 4 cups of brown sugar. Just like that. So, we're going to add our brown sugar, our cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger. All at once, all at once. So right here we have our ground cinnamon. Okay, so now that we have all of our dry ingredients, we're gonna give this a mix. Let's go. secret the key to baking so like a mixture basically like oh snap 
So, when, what I have learned is when you're mixing like the dry ingredients, wet ingredients, any ingredients, okay? Like, before you add more ingredients, make sure your last ingredient that you just added is a well mixed in. Because like, obviously it's like, okay, can I just comment this? Like, why did you tell me that? Um, because all along I did know that, but like, I actually learned because usually if you guys know this, I'd be like, Okay, it's almost there. Okay, let's just add this ingredient. Like, Miss Mama, slow your roll and wait for it to finish mixing because, like, you want to get all your ingredients in there. Like, you don't want to over mix, but you just want to make sure you're good. Okay? So, with that being said, our ingredients are well mixed in. And now we're going to go ahead and add our eggs. Remember, one yolk. All right. Got that in there. We're just gonna mix the eggs a little bit because I don't know if you add it like all of them at one time. Yes, we're gonna add our heavy cream and our vanilla because y'all remember the last episode we mixed our eggs a little bit too much. We're going slow with this. Okay, so we're just adding our heavy cream. Half a cup of heavy cream and two teaspoons. Is this teaspoon too? Yeah, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Guys, before I turn this camera, I had like I was going crazy with vanilla because I had a little bit of vanilla left. I literally only had two teaspoons of vanilla left in the bottle because like it splattered everywhere in the last episode. Oh yeah, so when I went to the store to buy these ingredients, you guys will know when I went to the store to follow me on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me right now. It's on the screen. It's always in the link in the description box down below at bitbakebro underscore TV. But back to the story. Not me, I'm to myself. Back to the story. But I bought vanilla abstract. Don't know where it is. And yeah. Also, I lost my sweet potatoes, but we're not going to talk about it. We're going to get back into this episode. Let's not worry about that over there. We're going to leave that over there and come back over here. So let's begin to mix our wet ingredients. Let's go. Hold wait. First of all, you're not going to speed past that. Like, you didn't just say what you just said. right here all blended together looking all nice and good and delicious and all that good stuff you know yeah so we have that right here and then we have our nice golden crust right here and we're just gonna go ahead and throw this batter in there throw this bad boy in the oven and now that i'm saying throw this bad boy in the oven we didn't preheat our oven okay so back to the pot so we have our nice crust we have our we have our filling right here and we're just gonna make sure we have no chunks of sweet potato because when we take a nice slice of our pie, we don't want no chunk of sweet potato. We want a smooth, nice, creamy texture going. So, we're gonna give this a nice little mix. Okay, so we have a nice texture. But we're gonna let this mix for like a few seconds. To get our little lumps out. It's pretty good. No, that. that's really good actually. That's really good. I just got some of my finger from there and it's really good. So God, you better watch out. You better watch out. You better watch out. No, I'm just mad. All right, let's get this a mix, y'all. Stop it. Done. Let's go. Let's begin. Let's take it to the shop. 
show. Oh. All right, y'all. Uh, filling is completely done. And I am so excited. This was pretty easy. This was pretty easy. Okay, so let's go ahead and take our pie right here and fill it up. Just fill it up. Just fill it up. And you know I have to get a little stir because that's just me. That's just my technique. That's just my special to make all the ingredients flow. You know what I'm saying? Make it as even as possible. This kind of looks like a lot of pie, I'm not gonna lie. But like, is it supposed to look like this? And here's when I start questioning myself. The man in the video actually put his pie on the turntable and made like a it made like a little swirl on the pie. I want to do the same thing just to be fancy and just to practice my techniques. So let's try it. So we just put it on there. Okay, I'm left it. So let's go this way. Put it on there and swirl. Spin it. Okay. So we have our nice pie right here. Our oven is on 295. So we're going to wait for it to get to 350, even though I know I can still put it in this hot enough. But we want this pie to be the perfect sweet potato pie. Okay. So with that being said, we're gonna wait till this gets to 350, it's on 305 now. See how fast I move from 395, 295 to 305. But, yeah, we're gonna wait for that to hit 350. We're gonna throw our pie in there and then throw a little whipped cream on there, you know what I'm saying? Just to make it a little fancy with some cinnamon. And we'll be done. So, let's go ahead and throw this pie in the oven. All right, so our pie just finished. Well, I turned it just went off and And it's looking good, it's looking good. Check of a pie is done because it's still gonna be soft. So like, I don't know. It's crispy on the edges though, so like I think it's done. And it looks really nice. It looks really nice. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm excited. Let me show y'all real quick. Even though it's hot, I can still show y'all because I'm a beast. Look at that. Yeah, you like that, don't you? You like that, don't you? All right, y'all. All right, you guys. So that's basically it. A simple, nice, sweet potato pie for you. And we're just gonna end this episode off by cutting us a nice slice. So, ready to cut. It's gonna be our middle. Okay. Okay, so this is really heavy. And it's starting to break, no. Okay. Um, we're gonna go ahead and grab a spoon. Or we can use this. Yeah, let's use this. Cause this is our advertising slice. Put a 
what's going on? No, I really need the rest of the one. Okay. Maybe it's too hot. I think that's what's going on. Because I'm not having patience right now. So, since I didn't want to be patient, this is how our slice of sweet potato pie looks. And it just looks like exactly what it is thrown on the plate so yeah i'm gonna let this cool but that's the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoy it as, as i enjoyed making it i already know it's delicious because i tried before and it, it was baked and it was like good so i know it's delicious if you want to see how this tastes and how my family reacts to it make sure you go to my instagram link it in the description and go ahead and follow me there and you will see the video on my page so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and with that being said i will see you guys in the next episode bye